Well, how do there, chums? As you can see, I'm inside of No Man's Sky. You probably noticed my new fashion accessory. I say new. You know, I've got this laying around inside of pro close proximity at all times, especially with all this Congress stuff and aliens, people. You can never be too careful. But I'm wearing it mainly because I'm doing speculation today. I don't really want people tuning in to these ideas of mine that I've got floating about inside of my head. Even though I am putting them out there in the verse and video format. So you work that one out, people inside the viewer verse. Anyway, let's jump on into game as I'm flying into the old Nexus. Because I'm flying into the Nexus so I can talk to you a little bit about some of my theories that might be happening inside of No Man's Sky Echoes. Now, firstly, No Man's Sky Echoes. It's not No Man's Sky Echo. It's No Man's Sky Echoes. And there's two question marks inside of Sean Murray's list, which I'll get to in a moment, people. I'll bring on up Sean Murray's list, just in case you're not on the old Twitterverse and you have no idea what I'm talking about. Yeah, so let's head on over, and I'm going to jump on up through this balcony over here. Hello there, Rapunzel. Let down your hair. You'd see Rapunzel just here. It's this rabbit. Hello there, spider marrow bit. Heck yes, man spider, as I call him. Hello there, man spider. Now, when you talk to man spider, um, I thought maybe the actual words that man spider was given were linked to which head you was wearing, either the Atlantid or the Crimson. But if you just exit out and keep talking to man spider, he's just randomly throws in, like the Crimson or whatever. Here shall does not see lost others, now only Crimson. And then you talk to him again. And it says, shell can change, shell will, will rot, shell will be stolen by others, shell will steal another shell, echoes will endure. Okay, so there's a lot of mention of echoes by this actual droid. Yes, by man spider. Here shell seals crimson, trim, crimson true, crimson false, undetermined. And occasionally it throws up some purple text as well about the Atlantid. Yeah, here, here shell does not see her, do the others. Here shell does not need her. Okay, fair enough. Interesting stuff. So it almost feels like this shell or this construct has probably been separated from the Void Mother, who he keeps alluding to as her. Yeah, pretty darn freaking gnarly. Let's talk to him again. No inch boom. Yeah, but occasionally you do get the odd purple word. But what I'm thinking, people, is this little guy has been left in the game for a reason. Okay? And even those that didn't run the actual expedition, I'm hearing RC and this construct are sitting inside of the old Nexus. So I'm wondering whether in part three, inside of the Echoes update, whether we might get some sort of lore that makes sense of why this chap's here for those that didn't run the expedition, firstly. And I'm also thinking we might get some lore around maybe him giving us extra missions to perhaps go into the realm of glass to rescue more of the Echoes people, or some sort of mission, some sort of raid system. Maybe there might be factions integrated into here. I mean, we did get given the two heads, the Atlantid head and the Crimson head. So whenever you see the purple text and the blue t and, and uh, the red text, that inside of that sort of lingo that he's putting out there, I do believe it is loosely linked to these two heads down here. And now beforehand, he was just giving me white text until I went and visited him with both heads one at a time. And then I started getting the purple and, pur and then the red sort of randomized. The thing is, is not everybody ran the expedition. So I don't think you need to. I, I kind of think there might be another way of choosing which faction you want to join if factions even become a thing. And if factions do become a thing, I think we're going to see them both here, like these MP. I think there's going to be NPCs standing by these two flags. Perhaps the one with the red head there, one with the blue head there. I did an actual speculation video on factions and how I think it might come into game. I'll put a link up there if you want to go watch that, hit that one up. If you're interested in factions, people, or maybe those two sort of NPCs coming into the verse because i think that'd be a nice way for them to deliver that in so anyway i was talking about sean murray's list and to show you sean murray's sort of things let's go do that quickly people so if i get rid of that boom i'm instantly on the twitter verse and my top's gone all sort of shiny if i take my foil hat off <laughs> that helped the green screen there you go i'll leave that off for a bit it's reflecting light and make look it's got it long going all see-through OK, you can see that although people don't think foil hats do anything, you can see there it obviously does. You know, I've started going invisible. Am I real? 
I might not be real. I could be a reptilian. Okay. <laughs> anyway, let's scroll on down on here. So at the end here, you've got this last mention, echoes with two question marks either side. Now, I'm wondering whether those two sort of question marks might mean something, maybe for the two heads that we've got. Also, it's not echo, it's echoes. So there's double going on there. And also, you've got to think of the living ship and the melody of the egg and the way that we found our living ships was all about sound. And the last expedition we had was all about sound as well with echolocations and dissonant sounds and dissonant systems. It's all off kill to sound. So I think sound waves play a lot into this. Now, inside of that trailer at the start were some very odd sound effects. Let, let, let me just uh, shut up my Winamp for a second. Let's scroll down. Let's turn the volume up on this. And let's just go to the start. I don't know whether if we threw that into some sort of spectrum analyzer, whether we're going to get something. And then towards the end here, our journey continues. And But this is the same sound effect that we've always had. And I don't think throwing that into a spectrum analyzer is going to do anything. And even the start is so short that if it did say something, it's probably just going to say echoes. Let's face it. There we go. Let's bring this up. Yeah, lovely jubbly. Now, something that I noticed on here is Echoes, the E's have got three lines on. And this is part three of the ARG arc, or could be. So is there something in that? Is that just denoting that there's three sort of Echoes? Something that I saw Ricey put out there, which I didn't cotton on to, but he did. If I just jump on over back into game for a second, whoops, wrong one, that one. If I jump back into game, if I run on over to the appearance modifier, I've just got lost, I've got you know, all over the place. Here we go, let's go on over to the appearance modifier. Chicka boom! And uh, yeah, if I go and pick on up the, uh, the crimson head, I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, the crimson head. So the crimson head is... Dun, 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 dun. Head, little beep, and head. It's got the three lines on it. Look, it's got the three lines right there, just like that Echo sign, people, inside of the Viewerverse. Just like the E on Echoes. I don't know whether there's something in that, but well spotted, Ricey. It's, it's possible, isn't it? There's Echoes. There's the head. There's Echoes. There's the head. Heck yes. And then when you go on to the other head, this one here, Ricey pointed out that it's got a circle at the top. You see that circle? And it's like a double circle. It almost looks like an O. You know, like if you took out that centerpiece on that head it's definitely like an o like the o on echoes and when you watch the animation the o comes in and the one of the e's first and when it despawns as well it does the same thing in reverse so yeah ricey pointed that one out which is quite a nice little note so i thought i'd give that a mention but thank you very much ricey something i didn't cotton on to very cool so maybe that plays part into it but what do i think is going to be inside of this update people I honestly think it's about time that we got some sort of information around the old um, space station overrides. So, you know, let's come out of there. Now, if you're, if you're not too sure what I mean about the space station overrides, we'll go and jump ourselves over to a station. But we've had these station overrides now for some time inside of game, and they don't do anything. When you hand over a station override to the station core, it doesn't actually do anything. Right, so if I jump into here, chicka boom, and I'm just going to teleport to any old station. Why it's jumping over to a station? Yeah, it's just good to that one. Uh, current system. All right, fine. I didn't really know I'd visited one in this system. I jump back on over onto the old um, uh, the PC verse for a second. Oh, that was instant frickin' taneous. That was so blinking quick. Okay, it didn't really give me much of a chance there, did it? Well, let's go and run down then. Let's go and present a station override. But yeah, I do want to talk about the outside of the station and perhaps even the inside of the station. So if I head on over here, before I even interact with the station core, because that's what it's called, the station overseer, but it's not just called that. Look, it says flight path and landing operator or something like that, overseer. All right. If I go in and have a look at this, you can see that there's a load of blue lines and one red line. Well, each of those, I think, denotes a landing pad. But when you count how many landing pads are, there aren't as many landing pads as what's featured on this freaking screen. So I think that if they do overhaul the outside, they're also going to overhaul the inside. And when you watch ships fly into the station, 
they fly in through the freaking ceiling so i think the opening is going to be far bigger which we know from the actual shells that we've seen inside of the game files and those space stations are called space station type b anyway let's go back to the station override and we'll go to the outsides of the stations in a moment so if i interact with this you can see here and it comes up with a load of information but if i go and put in input override code station override i've got quite a few of them Counterfeit code detected, access denied, glass, 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 realm of glass type stuff. Is the station going to warp us into the realm of glass? That's another thing. And then, yeah, that's what you get at the moment, people. It's a counterfeit. It's not actually working, people. Heck, no, it's not. Which is a bit of a shite, isn't it? Anyway, look, we've got, we've got ships flying. In. Oh, we've got an exotic flying. Is that the first waiver? I want to do a reload and check that out. But, you know, there you go. Lovely exotic ship in this system, people, if you want it. You know what? Give you the old coordinates in the bottom corner there, just in case you do. There you are. So that ship flies in. I don't know whether it's the first wave or I could do a reload, but I'm probably not going to, to be honest. Um, I'm just going to jump on over here while you're taking note of that code, and I'm going to see if I can find a quick video on the old, uh, the new station types. So, uh, No Man's Sky, new stations. Boom. Yeah, there they are. Right, if I jump back on over onto the old PC verse for a second, people. So boom. So this is what they look like. And you can see they look more in keeping with maybe the colossal archives on planet surfaces. They're really quite awesome. Here's my own video. You know, I can play my own video. I'm not going to flag myself. So here we go. Let's put that up. I'll just mute it for a second. But yeah, let's just put it back just a tad until I start playing them. Here you go. So here's like a little montage of some of these new stations inside of game, game files. So these were space station type Bs. And I'm wondering whether we're still going to see the old stations from time to time, but maybe there's going to be a trigger inside of game that triggers these new station shells. Or because ships are still flying in through the freaking ceiling, I'm wondering whether they're all going to get a new outside like this, like a massive overhaul. But I also think they might do an overhaul to the inside of these as well, people. So I'm thinking inside of this update, we're going to get some sort of thing like this come into the verse. That's what I'm hoping, people. That's what I'm really hoping. I'm hoping we get to see at least these new space stations and hopefully have the new station overrides doing something slightly more interesting than they do now. And trust me, that's not difficult, to be honest, is it? Right, so that's pretty much everything I've got for you in realms of speculation inside of game, peeps. So, yeah, um, let's just, just jump back into screen. Let's see if I can see some of these ships flying in through the ceiling just to sh show you what I mean. So if you watch the entrance here, they used to fly in exactly through that opening. Now they don't. Now they fly in through the ceiling somewhere around midpoint here and this sort of like second section of lights. Not all the way down there, but even up here in this sort of neck area of the actual station. It's a little bit weird. So I honestly think that that's a sign that they're working on the interiors as well as the exteriors, peeps. So yeah, that's what I'm hoping. If we don't see it in this update, I, I honestly reckon it's on the cards and I, I don't think it's going to be too far off. I think if we don't see it in this update, I think there'll probably be another update around Halloween time. And I think it probably will deliver in more of the void or the realm of glass. Um, if this update doesn't but there you go watch the ceiling and um, you'll see ships fly in through the top of it every now and again these ones seem to have flown straight through the doorway and, and sort of not really put my argument to test there has it people which is a bit freaking weird but yeah honestly they were they were flying in through the wrong area trust me on that peeps anyways i'm going to be ending off so thank you very much for watching and uh, yeah i hope that's given you some food for thought sound off in the comments let me know your thoughts and feelings on all of this and until next time goodbye and goodbye and goodbye again